Hello stamping friends, this is the November Skype Stamp Club and um, I you will be doing three cards this month. This one, which is um, really, really pretty and it's on shimmery white cardstock, which I don't think you can see in the video. And then you're going to be making this one. This is actually a gift card holder. And then you're going to be making this fun, simple one as well. The stamp set that you're using this month is called White Christmas and it's this stamp set right here. It's got lots of fun little pieces that you can do a lot with. I mentioned the shimmery white cardstock. Did you even know that we sold that? On page 193 at the bottom, shimmery white cardstock. There you go. So now you know. In your kit this month for this card, you got the Whisper White cardstock already scored and folded, and then you received a piece of the shimmery white that I went ahead and ran through the embossing folder. This is the folder, okay? And it is from the Holiday Mini Catalog, right here. It's called the Filigree Frame Textured Embossing Folder, and it's on page 15. Now in this kit, you have this little white piece. And so I did pull that out because we're gonna be doing a wash on that, just like we're doing on this piece. Now, let me show you how we're gonna do it. I have a clear block here that I'm using and aqua painter and a reinker. okay? Now, if you've never used the aqua painter before, you are in for a treat. Okay, I'm just gonna put maybe two or three drops and then this is full of water and you squeeze the bulb and when you do, water comes out. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze the bulb onto our ink and then we're going to just mix it up. We want to dilute this. We're not really using the aqua, I mean the reinker at full strength. So then I have my card and I'm going to just squeeze the bulb and you can see that I've got some of that started. I want my paper to be wet so that I don't get streaks. If I was to apply this reinker process without enough water on my card stock, then I might see the blue streaks and I didn't want that. So I'm just doing a wash just kind of on the top part of this area. Okay, now for club, I want you to do this and then I want you to set it aside and then I want you to get the little piece out for the next card and then you're gonna do the same thing and you're only gonna do the top part. We're gonna leave the bottom part because that's gonna be our snow scene. Okay, so then you can set this aside and let it dry while you're working on your other cards. Okay, so I've already let, I've already done a piece ahead of time so I could do the video and so it's nice and dry. I'm going to take the tree stamp, by the way, the photopolymer stamps get stained. Just let it go. Don't worry about it. I, I like to have clean stamps, but it's just not a possibility with this um, with the photopolymer. Um, I prefer to have a, a paper piercing mat underneath my stamped uh, card, my cardstock that I'm stamping on because the photopolymer works better on this. So I have the black stays on, and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I prefer to ink up my stamps this way to make sure I get them good and inked. It's kind of a big stamp, so I just wanna make sure I get enough ink coverage everywhere. And because they're photopolymer, you can see exactly where you want to stamp. I'm gonna kinda of press. Now the photopolymer stamps are a little sticky, so just peel them off. Nice, nice job. Okay. 
So then we have our little snowman, so cute. And the fact that these are clear, that you can see through them, you can have him right where you want him. So, see, I have him right on the little snow slope. And then I'm going to use the itty bitty tiny, I mean tiny, cardinal. And the cardinal is going to sit on the branch. I warn you about that teeny tiny cardinal because he is teeny tiny. Okay, I don't even think you can see him on the video, <laughs> but we're gonna try, let's see here. Let me put him going the right way. Okay, so I wanna make sure, cause he's so little, see how little? Okay, so I just wanna make sure which direction he's going in and, and all of that. So I'm going to have him on this branch right here so that the little snowman is looking up he's looking down isn't that precious okay so let's do some coloring very little coloring needed if you have the um, cherry cobbler marker i am using that just to color his scarf and it's so little so i am not stressing about getting perfect and then i'm going to color the little red cardinal you may need to switch ends and use the finer tipped end on the cardinal because he is little. I already told you that, right? Teeny tiny. Okay, so then we have our little bit of color <clears throat> and we're done with that part. We're going to use some dimensionals and let me grab those. I think I go through more dimensionals in this craft room than anything else. All right, so we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our layer. Sticking my fingernails in, I'm gonna get those backs off. Then I'll take my card base and I'm gonna go ahead and layer this on. This is a really simple, cute card. Now, as a treat in Skype Club this month, I stuck in a bottle of Dazzling Details and this is the, um, this is the white one, okay? And I'm gonna shake this down a little bit. I have this really impressive tool. It's called a Q-tip. I'm going to just put some of the, let me grab this other bottle. Where's my other bottle? Excuse my reach. I've been using lots of this, so I'm kind of out. So I'm just gonna put some on there and take my little tool and just color my snow scene. I don't want it perfect. I didn't want a perfect line. I just, you know how sometimes you used to buy, not now, but when you used to buy store-bought cards, they always had a little glimmer on there and you felt of it and it, and it was kind of stiff. That's what we're going for. All right, then I'm gonna take my snowman and do the same thing, but I'm just gonna use the tip of the bottle to color that in. And then I'm gonna take the trees and we're gonna put just a little bit on the branches. We're doing this step last because you need to set this card aside and let it dry while you're working on the other projects. So I'm not, I'm not being perfect. I'm doing this very quickly. I just want a little bit of ice on my trees. And there you have it. I do hope you can see the glimmer. So pretty. Come back for the next video.